bump. I am back, everybody. How is it going? I don't know why I'm talking like that. I was trying to vibe with the beat, but it's not really working. <laughs> Guys, how are you all doing? My name is Tank. This is the IVC Gang channel. Here we talk about everything that's happening in the traditional markets as well as the crypto markets with a specific interest always on what's happening within the Cosmos ecosystem. I'm back from vacation. What's up, Joe? What up, what up, what up? Hey, Joe, I know last minute, bro. Uh, if you would like to join the conversation and just be on this kind of laid back stream today, let me know, man. I'll, I'll, I'll drop you the link. You can jump on in, man. Don't have to have a camera. None of that. You know the deal. You know the deal. But yeah, guys, uh, I'm back from the office. Uh, I wear scrubs when I'm at the office. Uh, does that make me a scrub supporter? Gosh, I hope not. I was actually thinking about that today. Like, I'm wearing scrubs. Does that make me a scrub? <laughs> in any case, guys, we're going to be jumping on into the markets here in just a minute. But before I do, I got to give you guys a little heads up of our channel sponsors because, you know, it, it, it just it helps out tremendously to have friends in your corner. And those friends are the Kajira Network, guys. If you guys don't know about Kajira Network, let me actually go ahead and share my screen with you guys. Give you guys the quick elevator pitch for Kajira. Guys, this is Kajira.network. Fantastic group, fantastic blockchain, fantastic landing page, fantastic everything. It is the blockchain for real yield, a decentralized ecosystem for protocols, builders, and Web3 users seeking sustainable fintech. Guys, if you are bored, if you're just like wondering what the heck you should be getting into within the uh, the crypto landscape, I was going to say Cosmos, within the crypto landscape, look no further than Kajira because there's so many things to do here on Kajira. Guys, you guys can jump on, on Orca, Fin, Bao, Ghost. You can jump in on their money market. You can check things out on their order, uh, on their, on, I'm sorry, on their AMM that has uh, a really, really cool order book. Um, you can, you can borrow lend uh, on their platform. Uh, you can even, you can even streamline uh, a, a, and get some uh, funding going for your project. You can, you can do all of that kind of stuff on Kujira. So thanks Kujira for helping us out, for being supporters of what we do uh, within our space. We really do appreciate you guys. We love you guys to death. Check out Kajira. If you guys don't, you guys should. Um, really good people, guys. Support the people who are supporting you. Uh, and then we want to talk about. Uh, I don't have them up here because I've been, I just my first day back from uh from from not first day. It's my first time streaming since coming back from Mexico, guys. But Cosmos Spaces uh, is another uh, supporter of the channel, guys. Cosmos Spaces. If you guys don't know about them, they're a validated team within the Cosmos ecosystem, obviously, uh, who do tremendous work, guys. Not only are they validator team that have great Validator set up redundancies and infrastructure, but they run relayers. They are community facing. They have many team members that are on many different protocols within this space, all trying to drive adoption for the Cosmos ecosystem. Guys, check out, check out Cosmos Spaces. If you guys haven't, let me show you guys what they look like here. This is Cosmos Spaces. Check it out. Check it out. Kudos. Kudos to Cosmos Spaces. We love them to death. Love them to death. So. Also, I, give, I want to give you guys a little heads up. Uh, I don't get anything from the partnership that I have with Cosmos Spaces. Uh, matter of fact, the only thing that they provide to me is the crypto uh, and the NFTs to give to you guys for uh, partaking in community game day. So again, they're really supporting you guys by doing so. Um, I'm just facilitating uh, the community game days and they're the ones giving back to the community. So again, thank you Cosmos Spaces for supporting the community, being part of the community and supporting IBC Gang. Yeah, yeah, guys. We got some stuff we need to talk about. Let's actually let's let's cut the nonsense though. Let's cut the nonsense. Not that the the streams uh sponsors are nonsense at all. But let's get in, let's get into what we need to talk about today. Let's do it. Hold on one second. Let me let me make sure chat's running. There we go. I see Joe. I see uh evening man. What are you up to? Uh I can't say that. Casino bonus com. Evening man, what are what are you thinking of Juno ever going to pump? You do balance down, maybe you have a chance. You do balance down, maybe you have a maybe you have a chance. Yeah, sick intro. That's right, right. My my intro's sick. It's sick. It's so sick. It needs meds. <laughs> I'm a little silly, guys. I'm having a good day at the office. Good roll today. I got back first roll uh, since coming back uh, from Mexico. Oh man, you take a week off and you feel like you're gonna die though. 
Um, guys, let's actually, first and foremost, before we jump on into crypto, though, let's take a peek at what's happening in the traditional markets because we need to do that really quickly, really quickly. Guys, just for reference, we are looking at things on the daily time frame. We're using Market Cipher as our favorite oscillator and indicator tool of choice. First thing that we're going to start off looking at is the Dow Jones. Look at this. Look at this. I said I wanted it to go sideways. No, 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 no. It just uh, flies on. It just keeps on going on. So what you want, different from what the market wants to do. But, you know, obviously, I'm not, I'm not surprised at all. I'd much rather, I'll be totally honest, I'd much rather have uh, seen this go sideways for a little bit more. Uh, but you know what? Played out exactly like it should. Came down to our trending line of once resistance, now flipped into support. Exactly, exactly, my friends. Uh, guys, it's been a while since I've shared these screens. but. I'm going to be honest with you guys. The stuff don't change on my screen. So uh, what's been up there has been up there for, I don't know, I'm not, it's not even months. It's been up there for years uh, for some of these lines. Uh, and so if you've been watching the channel, you know anything about support or resistance and or I'm not really uh, one of those people that like, like you know, breakout trades or likes to take gambles on support or resistance. I do somewhat, but not like big. But I'm going to say, if you were watching it, guys, came down exactly to where we were showing you guys. Right, we were showing you guys that we would like this, or we at least we were saying while we were showing to you guys that we would like to see this get flipped into support. It did, and it did big time. It came right up to the next line of resistance that we were showing you guys 35, 525. And look how it's exactly hitting resistance right now. Not to say that it won't eventually conquer it, but guys, it is holding up so far, right? It is holding up so far. And so, guys, if 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 this if this trend of higher lows, this stair-stepping movement keeps up. See this here? See this here? It's only a matter of time until we break all-time highs. That's crazy. That is absolutely, guys, daily time frame. Daily time frame. Let me show you. You guys see this dotted line right here? See this dotted line right here? We are just a smidge away from all-time highs in the traditional markets. Everybody that's been stuck only talking to you guys about crypto. There's been so much opportunities in the traditional markets, in these indexes. This is why I cover them every single time we go live first. Because I'm trying, like I'm not trying to do anything one way or not. But yes, I am so, like trying to feed it into you guys slowly without you guys understanding that. I'm trying to get you guys exposure over a long period of time to pay attention to what's happening with the traditional markets. That's why we talk about it every single time first, because it matters. Look at this. This is insane. Insane. From the low here, which was only in October of last year, uh, in 288 days, we've seen a gain of 23.82%. That's massive. Massive. And we're only like a little over 4% from all-time highs. Look at that, 4.18%. If that's not perspective, I don't know what is. That's insane. Insane for a recession. What have I also always been saying? In a recessional landscape, if that's even a term, but I'm making it one, what do you want to be doing as an investor? Investing. What's up, Cash Deal? My man. Right back at you, man. My man. Appreciate you being here. But God, this is, you know, Cash still knows. Joe knows. The people know. The IBC gang knows. This is stuff that I've been saying for over a year and a half, bro. Over a year and a half. These lines, these charts, these places of reference and interest. My tune has not changed. This is insane. Insane opportunities. It's been insane opportunities. 200 SMA strategy, 4x4 DCA strategy. You don't know about it, you just check out the channel, the YouTube has the videos that you can watch anytime you want. Check it out. It's, it's in there. It's in the preferred watching list. 4x4 DCA strategy. It's a dynamic DCA strategy. It's not a lazy man DCA strategy. Combined with the 200 SMA strategy. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I don't know about you guys, but I've had a six-figure bear market. Have you? <laughs> Uh -huh. Anyway, guys, let's move on. Uh, I do. I, well, actually, before we move on, uh, RSI's still pointing upwards here. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. 
Marcus Cypher B pinched together, still pointing upwards, a little on the high side, a little on the high side here. Uh, we're sitting at right around, what is that, about 94, 95? Guys, we, we have appreciating or building money for, look at this wave. With the ups and downs, you guys got to understand, things move like that, right? It has its ebbs and flows. But we have a money wave, this chartreuse color, building, building ever so slowly. Not to say that it won't come back down like it did here, right? It needs to have its breathing moment. It needs to get a second win before it keeps on running its marathon. But it's appreciating ever so slowly like it did here in the past, like it's doing right now, right? Guys, we're far away from this trend line. For the anchor waves, for cell pressure, these anchors are cell pressure. We have a trend line, one, two touches. That's a horrible straight line. I can't, I can't draw for anything. Too much coffee. See this trend line right here. So even if we have cell pressure and it bounces right off here, long term, that's good. One, two touches. We project out. Let's see what happens, right? You got to be taking profits for profits are there, my friends. Not financial advice, but just letting you guys know that's the only thing that separates you from winning and losing. All these other people who are futters, who are negative Nancys, who are broke and want you also to be miserable and broke because misery loves company, will try to convince you otherwise. But I'm telling you right now, look at the charts. You right now, right now on the Dow Jones index chart from the low are in the most profitable, one of the most profitable positions you could ever be in on the, on the charts ever. Right now, ever since the low, look at this. A couple of days ago, maybe you're a little bit higher, but you are in one of the most profitable positions you could ever be in. Consider, consider taking profits, my friends. Because if you do not, it can be taken from you. Lickety split like, lickety split like. This is the only thing that matters. You have to take profits. And right now, again, I'm free and clear. I'm sitting on house money. I'm sitting on some free and clear assets, period. So I'm loving it. I've already taken profits. I took profits laddering out on this white line, this white line. And guess what? I missed it up here, but I got some free and clear profits that are in super massive profits right now. They're appreciating. And, and, and you know what? It doesn't matter to me because I got nothing in it. It's free. Free stuff. Triple plus play, right? You got to hit it. You got to get it. Get it out. I love it, though. I absolutely love it. Absolutely. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. NASDAQ is down 0.26%. It's trading at 15, 7, 10. Look at this. Look at this. Same thing. It just, it's just going. And guess what? This one, guys, I'm going to be real about this one. Let me be absolutely real with you guys on this one. We did not, using the 4 by 4 DCA strategy and the 200 SMA strategy, we did not hit all of them, right? We only hit the NASDAQ and the SPX. We did not hit the Dow Jones, but two out of three, I'll take it, right? In fact, we didn't even get to strike the iron for the Dow Jones. We were waiting, we were waiting, and we didn't see the previous lows. We didn't see this projected, this old arrow right here where we were looking for. We didn't see it. Our buy order was just below here. It didn't happen. That's the right. That's the right, right? But guess what did hit? Look at the NASDAQ. You see this old arrow right here? One, two, three, basically. Four. We So much times. So much times. And guess what? We made tremendous money. We came up to 200 SMA. We got out. Obviously, 200 SMA. Probably going to hold up as resistance, right? So we got out. Came up again. Looked at it. Got out. Right? Took profits while we were coming up there. Came back down, we rinsed and repeat. And then again, we took profits here. We left some for the run. We came up to here. We took some profits. I took profits here and here, and I was out. I was done. I was done. There was no more profits to be made. Everything was triple plus play, free and clear money, free and clear assets. Everything was done, right? And now I'm just loving it. But if you guys were waiting, if you were waiting and you had you had some nerves, you had some cojones to hold on. I'm again telling you right now, you are in the most profitable position you've ever been in on the NASDAQ. Consider it. What's up, Moto? Moto? What's up, Moto? What's up, my friend? How, like, what else do you want? Look at this. Look at this. Boom, boom, from the low 
roughly about 230, 240 ish days from the low, considering where you got in, right? But from the low, on average, you're up 47.22%. If you were watching this channel, making the moves that's all that I was making, I'm not going to ever tell you guys, I'm not going to ever tell you guys financial advice, right? But if you were watching, if you're copy trading, you're doing whatever, right? You were really paying attention, you're up 47.22% in less than a year. Don't be spoiled with this whole crypto 100x, 1000x, like moonshot or nothing vibe, right? Appreciate that 47%. Appreciate that. 1,000% appreciate that. You got to. You got to. And if you don't, you're not going to make it long in this game. That's massive money. I told you guys, I had a, I had a six-figure freaking year in the bear market off, off non-crypto moves. And I was showing it to you guys. I don't care how this comes across. Everybody got their own thing, their niche, right? This is my thing. It took me over a year and a half to show you guys my thing. It's hard. You know, you know how long I had to take criticism and be patient to show you guys my thing? Forever. I don't know which view I like. I hate that it doesn't like separate. I guess maybe it would separate if I wasn't sharing my screen, but sh like sharing or sharing my whole display and not my tab. Yeah, let me do that. You know what? Let me do that for one second. For one second. Let me share the entire screen. Boom. Now it doesn't do that. You guys can see everything up here. It's just Cosmos Spaces, Twitter, Wolf Hunters, and Kujira. So get off of it. You can't see nothing. But yeah, no, it still it still does it. Frick, it's so stupid. That's so stupid. I don't like that at all. That's so stupid. Let me pick this back here. Dumb thing. All right, um, Joe, tell me, tell me how to get my life right. Why why does it do that? Um, guys, gotta take a look at another perspective, right? Food for thought from the dotted line. I'm just eyeballing it on the daily time frame to all time highs. We're just six, little over six percent. From all time highs. Holy crap. That's intense. That's intense. What does that say? Ka Kamusta tank? What does that mean? Wow, if we do crash, good. Let me show you guys something. We're prepared for that. That's why I'm telling you guys take profits right now, right? Take. I'm not telling you guys that. I'm suggesting it to you guys. But you're absolutely right. You're absolutely there. That's the pos the possibility is definitely there. 100. percent That's why the question is: Do we pump or do we dump? Right? Or what does it say? Yeah, we pump or do we dump in crypto, or even in the traditional markets for that matter? I should have I should have said but for both. And if we do, if we do, let me let me show you guys. If we do, 200 SMA strategy still in play, right? You see where we were waiting for last time. This is the new, this is 20 years of price data, 20 years of price data, not my opinion, 20 years of price data, my friends, telling me on where we should be finding a flooring position if we crash. This is the monthly time frame. Let me go back to the daily time frame so you guys can see this a little bit better here. If we crash, right? If we have that, oh my God moment, it's not here anymore. It's not around 27,638. Now it's telling me it's going to be right around 25,496. That's where the that that's how are you in filipino ah, i'm only i'm only a little bit filipino i don't know at all <laughs> but i'm doing well man i'm doing well finally back from mexico feeling a lot better guys i'll tell you hold on let me tell you guys something right now you know how like they they tell you don't drink water unless it's bottled water or like when you're traveling make sure you're eating like regular food if you if you haven't had food from the region Man, we went to this island off Cancun, which isn't like Cancun's not that bad, right? But like you go off this island from Cancun. Uh, it's called uh, Playa Mujeres uh, or uh, the island of Mujeres. Um, and we went on, we went on, a, we went on a catamaran. We went, we always take my family on a catamaran. We go on a cruise and stuff. We go snorkeling and stuff like that. Um, but part of part of the deal was they have this, I guess, like um, uh, like business relationship with this uh, local eatery, like restaurant thing. It's like straight up, straight up like third world 
like you're going to go eat on the streets kind of thing, right? Uh, so go ahead. I'm hungry though. It was hot, man. I was thirsty. And I'm like, oh man, I just want something to eat. They don't got nothing. We're sitting in this here. I'm starving. And they had um that chicken, what looked like chicken. Uh, and I, I don't even know if this was what made me sick, but I ate some stuff. I still drank, you know, I drank the Kool-Aid. Um, but it didn't hit me that next day. It hit me the day after, the day before we were coming home. And man, it got me bad, guys. I mean, ooh. So everything was great until that, man. The ride home too was not good. It was not good. They were like, seatbelt sign is on. No getting up to use the bathroom. And I was like, I got to go. I got to go bathroom. Anyway, TMI, TMI. I thought it was a funny story. <laughs> That's what you guys get. Um, but anyway, so yeah, if, if it comes down, guys, 200 SMA strategy, 4x4 DCA strategy, the new zone for where we should be seeing a flooring position take place is 25,496. This 20 years of price data. That's basically right now from 20, 20, about 20, well, actually it's a little bit more than that. It's been a while since I've actually um, measured it, but that's what? That's 28%. 28%. I got I to gotta do the measurement now. That's 28% from where we are right now. What's up, B? Oh, YouTube and, and on other places. I don't want to get all messed up now, but yeah, but that's the new, that's the new low there. That's the, if we crash guys, that's where I'm going to be deploying my first of four DCA and every one of those zones of four is split up into fours. And I'm always re reinforcing my positions with more positions. That's where I'm going to be interested in deploying capital right there, right there. 25, 496. I don't care. That's what I'm doing. The NASDAQ, the NASDAQ guys. It's not here anymore. I'll probably do a little bit here, but the new zone is right here at 9,258. If we crash, that's where we should be seeing a flooring position start taking place. And what I mean by flooring position is exactly that. I mean, like happened here, like what happened here. I'm not telling you exactly where the floor is. I'm telling you where it's around. I'm telling you where to land to avoid the trees, right? You still might hit some stuff, but you know, it's where it should be. So yeah, that's the new zone right there. That's the 200 SMA strategy, guys. From where we are right now, if we falter, we cut below everything, bow, 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 nothing holds up. That's 41% down. That's 41.24% down from where we are right now. Let's see here. From, from here to where we fell. Yeah, 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 look at that. That's 37, 35, right? In the past, that's what happened before. So if you're conservative, maybe take a little bit of positions here just in case so you don't miss the bus and stuff like that. But I'm telling you, that's where I'm gonna that's where I'm gonna strike it. And that's how I'm gonna, I'm gonna push some capital. I'm gonna push some chips on the table. For real. For real, for real. NASDAQ is up right now. So is the Dow Jones. Look at that. Look at that, though. What the hell is that flying in my house? There is a wasp flying in my house. Hold on, my friends. Everybody needs to see this. Watch. I'm gonna go kill a wasp. Hold on. Wait, hold on. You guys are going to hear it. Hold on one second. I can't let that thing survive. How'd that get in my house? This ain't my house, by the way. That ain't my house. I'm gonna roll this up. I'm going to smack it. Y'all hear some screaming. It's because it's attacking me. That mud dopper didn't want none of that. That mud dopper did. I think, I think it was a mud dopper. That's what you get from the south, guys. I don't even know how God probably came into the chimney. Anyway, whoo, man, I saw that thing flying around. I was like, I got to kill it. <laughs> All right, let's roll on. Let's roll on. Let's roll on. That's the new zone, though, right there, guys. I'm calling right now. Don't believe me? Just watch. Don't believe me? Just watch. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this mud Look at this money momentum wave right here. Look at it climbing. Look at that thing climbing. Guys, on the daily right now, we got a trigger buy dot. RSI is pointing upwards. Green money flow, positive money flow. Mm -mm -mm. It was a mud dopper. 
It was a mud dump. You know what that is? Bees? Mud dumper. Yeah. Uh, let's move on. So yeah, I mean, I, all I got, man, all I gotta tell, all I gotta say right now is if you ain't taking profits, I don't know what you guys came here to do. Let's go to Russell. The Russell's up one point one five percent again, wanting it to go sideways. What it does versus what I want—two separate things. But it is, it is. Oh my gosh, Bless. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Look at it. Look at it right now. Look at this coming up to previous. Support, 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 a little bit resistance, resistance. This is going to be a high volatile uh, section for uh, at least I think the Russell. Like if it cuts up to this and goes all the way up to 213, that's massive. That's massive. But phew, man, what a what a crazy chart. Russell right now also has rounding upwards, positive RSIs, trigger buy dot, positive money flow. Man, I'm not trying to get you guys all worked up in hopium and stuff like that, but bro. I'm saying right now, when things look really good, you should be taking some profits because it can look real bad real fast, too. Just being real. SPX, same thing. We don't have the tr the green trigger buy dot here. We do have positive money flow, appreciating, looking really well. We are high on the RSIs. We are pinched together, still running upwards. We are positive money flow, obviously, like I said. Um, I honestly, let me, let me just, I'll stick my neck out here. I do think that we are going to have a pullback. I think this looks like a classic potential start of a cup and handle pattern. If we keep pushing upwards to here, I hope we get rejected from here because long term, that's bullish. Long term, that's bullish. But if not, my friend, like our friend said, Bo, Bo is it Bo? Bo, Bo right? It's Bo Sandy Man. Bo. I think it's Bo. That's how you say that. I don't know. I'm not sophisticated. Um, I like your name though. If if we do have a humongous pullback, right? I'm looking here. I'm looking right here. 200 estimation right. There's 20 years of price data telling me that we should see a flooring position start taking place if everything goes to hell in a handbasket, right around three thousand seventeen dollars. Right here. Right there. You bet your bottom dollar. I'm putting in money in the market instead. Same thing. So again, bow, SPX, right? $3,017. That's where I'm looking if, if everything goes to hell in a handbasket. Let's go to the DXY. The DXY is showing some strength, crazy enough. It's coming up. It's up 0.2%. It's at 101.87. Ultimately, do you think, like I said, I think that we're going to thread this, this zone here. I have some volatility. Ultimately, I think that we are going to falter, fall on our face and come back down to the long-term trend line that we've been in for a long time. And then I do think, I do think that we are going to see the dollar weaken. There is a, there is a narrative. There is a, there is a conversation. I'm going to be very honest that I do believe is possible for the dollar to remain strong. Uh, but if things keep going the way they've been going, if things don't necessarily repeat themselves, but rhyme in the spaces, the monthly time frame for the DXY, and we keep doing what we've been doing, I do think that we might start a new trend downwards with the DXY, and we could even see it come all the way down to 59.43. Don't believe me? Just watch. Be patient. It takes a long time, right? It takes a long time. But I'm going to put my neck out there. I said it. Yes, yeah, I said it. Because that's what I'm seeing right now for the traditional markets. I think the traditional markets have been freaking fabulous. Fabulous. Absolutely love the traditional markets, man. I've had such a great time this year in the traditional markets. Um, while so many other, especially Cosmos focused people, have been only focused on what's happening in crypto, like, man, I've been trying to tell you guys and trying to get you guys to pay attention to what's happening in the traditional markets, but it's fucking massive. Uh, speaking of something that I think is massive, let me show you guys something that I've been saying for a long time. Okay. And I don't know, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But PAAS is one of my long-term favorite things that I wanted to invest into. It's uh, my way of getting into not only precious metals, but semiconductors and, and everything in between, right? Um, PAS is up 6.43% today. 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 Guys, again, uh, this is just, this is a 90-90 boo-boo stick your head and duty moment again that I'm saying. But we were buying, we were buying on this crooked-ass line 
right here that I was showing you guys here. We were buying and we did buy on this crooked ass line, but from there to here, we're up 17%. I'm <laughs> mass. I don't know how much I'm gonna tell you guys. I'm, I, I always said I was never gonna be that guy that like comes off as cringy or whatever, but you know what? Bro, all I want is the best, best for you guys. I'm not perfect though. But all I want is what's best for you guys. That's why I even started streaming. Just to show you guys. Show you guys what I do. Show you guys the stuff that I'm interested in. Show you guys my mindset. I don't know if I'm like, if it's coming across as cringy or not. But I don't give a shit anymore. I really don't. It's up 6.43%. What else can I say? On the day, it was up almost 7 I think a little over seven. You know, say what you want about me. I don't care if people like me or not. I just use it, use it, use it. I don't care if you like me and you hate my guts. Watch the channel and benefit from it though. Secretly subscribe, follow it. I don't care. Say I'm full of it. My, my bank account don't say I'm full of it. My charting, my videos don't say I'm full of it. So it don't matter what people think about me, though. I'm just hope hopefully you guys are paying attention, man. All right, let's move on. Let's move. Bitcoin not having a great day. It's down 0.33. It's not down that bad though. It's at 29.192. Um, long term, long term. Let me show you guys the monthly here, the monthly time frame. I think that this is still a good time. This is the having chart, right? If you see one, two, three, we're in this uh, reco I don't say recovery, anticipation phase is what I like to what, what I like to call it. This third phase right here, that's an anticipation phase right there. Uh, we have our bull markets, our appreciation phase, our depreciation, our bear markets, and then our anticipation phase before the next halving. Uh, we're not far away from the next halving, my friends. We're absolutely not far at all from the next having. Um, and if you were front running in the past, not to say things have to necessarily lift themselves, it's less than a year from the having. It's 275 days, give or take. Like, even through, like, if you look at this right here, even through in the past, even if you guys were just buying, DCing in on this pain, this uncertainty, you outpaced the bear, uh, the bull market by far. Everybody else that was trying to play catch up here, after the fact, you killed it. Same thing for here. Even though this didn't have a big pullback, you absolutely front ran the bull market and killed it. So just something to think. I don't know. Things don't necessarily have to repeat themselves, but they could damn well rhyme. And it could be delayed, whatever. It could look like this, where we like die off into the next halving, right? And it looks super uncertain. And then whoop, 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 spot Bitcoin ETF. Right, the having comes. Boom, boom, boom. People making moves. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Looking good, looking good. Bitcoin could be worse, right? But looking good. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm loving what I'm seeing right now for Bitcoin. Our size don't look very well. We're in a negative money flow. We are dying off here with the momentum waves. We are creating a deep anchor. But what do you do? when everybody else is fearful and like staying out of the market, that's when you pay attention. That's when you start with proper risk management, DCAing respectively, right? I'm not telling you guys what to do one way or another. Run for the hills. I don't care. Come here. Don't come here. Stay in crypto. Go to traditional markets. I really don't care all like to be honest with you. But for the ones that do care, the ones that do want to start changing Hopefully, their financial situation, their financial trajectory in life, maybe their sons or daughters, maybe not theirs, but like someone down the line. They want to pay attention. They want to hear truth. This is truth. I'm not, I don't know if it's right, but it, there is a lot of truth to what I'm saying. If you're an investor, what do you do when everybody else is fearful, when bloodshed is rampant? It's all over. The FUD is like everywhere you look. That's when you break out your wallet. Right, because that's the best deals you're gonna get. You don't do it when everybody else is in the store. You don't do it when everybody else is paying attention. Right? I'm just saying. I don't know. You gotta do your own due diligence, though. Pick the ones that you like. 
Not all of them are going to make it, but still. Bitcoin looked great. I think Bitcoin will make it long term, no matter what. Uh, we got Ethereum, 1857. It's only down 0.23%. It's really interesting to me. Uh, we have this RSI is clearly pointing downwards. No good signs on market side for B right now for Ethereum. RSI is both dying off. Uh, trigger sell dot right now. It's red dot showing negative money flow. Not looking good for Ethereum. Yet, it's holding up quite well. From the lows, guys. From the lows. Look at this. I'm not, you could pick any one of these from, let's just go from here, right? From where we started buying again to where we are right now. You're still up 84%. The from the ultimate low here to where we are right now, you're up over 100%. This is massive. Even from here, when we started this trend line to now, to where we are, this is 73%. It's perspective, right? Perspective. It is what it is. It's down four dollars. Are you panicking off four dollars? Not me. I've been buying ETH, not so much ETH as Bitcoin, but I've been still buying ETH and Bitcoin passively and dynamically every single week on on Thursdays. And I implore you guys, think about DCAing on Thursdays. I've been saying that for a long time. I get good deals on Thursdays. Adam is down two percent. It's at $8.89. Same thing. I'm not seeing good things happening right now on the charts for Adam. Negative money flow, creating deep anchor waves, RSIs dying off, rounding straight down. Yeah, not looking good. I've told you guys also many, many times. We got rejected off this trend line, by the way, that we were showing you guys. Not interested in Adam until uh, right around eight, seven fifty, six fifteen, four sixty, and yes, $0.80. Cents. That's my that and that has a lot of things have to change too, not just because I have them on the charts. If the if the fundamentals and the narrative doesn't change and the social sentiment for Adam, I'm not gonna buy it. I've already I've already ripped my benefits. I've already like reaped my rewards, got my benefits from Adam. I'm not gonna do it again. That'd be silly. Right now, I've really just been looking at a few things, very few things, but mainly at Bitcoin and Ethereum. That's it. And I've been doing a lot of stuff in, in, in traditional market land. You know, like, come on now, let's be real about ourselves. IBC gang 100%, right? But let's be real about ourselves. I want the IBC gang to do well. I don't care about how or if it's Cosmos or anything like that. I want IBC gang to do well. So I'm not going to tell you guys, oh, just because we're IBC gang, Cosmos, Adam, and I'm not trying to fud it either. It has its problems. 750, 615, 460, and yes, 80 cents. If it's been there, it can go there again. 1,000%. Secret down 1.72%. Coming back down probably to the low of 28 cents. Just being real about that. Juno, 23 cents. Oh, we're testing new lows. It's down 1.91%. Guys, if you guys have, if you guys have Juno and you're staking it, I implore you guys, give Balance Thou a chance. Take matters into your own hands. Us, we only have yourselves to blame. Ourselves, I should say. Us, right? I'm just gonna be real. We've already we've already had 2,500 Juno swapped since last week, or no, the week before the week before. Right? 2,000 is in a burn wallet. When they have a burn function, it's gonna get sent there, it's gonna get burnt, it's gonna get taken out of his guys. Take it up in your own hands don't leave it to chance don't leave it to other people i implore you guys anybody that still has some staking take a little bit of rewards not all of it a little bit of rewards and consider swapping it for balance now we need community members to step up we say these things right but let's bring everything full circle let's bring crypto for what it should be Let's bring things full circle. Let's bring balance back. And let's start using Juno as an example. The same. Let's work together. Core one, core two, validators, developers. I'm talking to you guys too, not just retail. You guys want it to go to zero, go to nothing? Or you guys want something to actually happen? I implore you guys. Come on now. Take a little bit of your guys'. You guys have benefited. Some of you guys at least. I'm in, I'm considerate. Balanced out. 
Balance out. Consider you don't know it all. That's all I'm saying. Right? All right, let's move on from that. Evmos down 1.79%, also finding new lows. What happened to Evmos 2.0? Man, oh, man. You know, this could happen for Evmos too. We could use balance, the same structure for balance for Evmos. It could do, balance could be applied to like that same theory, thought process, concept could be applied to all of it. Evmos, Stargaze, Juno, all of it, guys. It really could. Why are we using the same token for governance, securing the chain, and as the money, as a transactional token for everything we do? It's not working. Let's be real about it. It's not working. And all you, all you debt. I'm, I'm, like, I'm, I'm not trying to go. I'm not trying to go to war. I'm not. But I'm telling you guys right now. You guys don't know it all. You guys aren't the saviors. You guys aren't like, <laughs> you guys can't be, whatever. I'm not even going to try to, try to, like, you guys, see what happens. Let's see what, see what happens. I'm saying it right now. You take a, take a, take a hedge bet against yourself. That's what smart people do, right? I'm not perfect, and I know it. Stop acting like you guys are perfect. Everybody, everybody, everybody that just feeds everybody some FUD and hopium all the time. Man, I'm so sick and tired of that shit. Y'all don't know. You don't know. It's got to go back to the people. You know, the social sentiment could really change if you actually put some of the power, actually delegate some of the power back to the people instead of trying to be dictators and trying to be rulers of the people, trying to be saviors actually tried to be walking with those people stand side to side shoulder to shoulder with those people invest back into them and see how the social sentiment changes for your chain just saying just saying you got to you got to bring more than just your guys' hopium tokenomics and value captures invest in the people right uh, osmosis down 2% as well RSI is pointing downwards. I don't see a trigger by uh, sell dot, but man, deep, deep anchors being created, uh, deep in the negative money flow. Testing what new lows, coming back down to new lows. Man, same thing. Everything for osmosis too, bro. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep it short and sweet. That's what I got for today, guys. We'll cover some other things later. We got, uh, we got, I'm blessed and honored to have uh, Lex from Strange Clan and maybe some others from the team on Wednesday's stream at 2.30. Uh, then we're going to be talking to Eric and Ethan, hopefully. Uh, I definitely know Ethan, uh, possibly Eric, both of them, from Astro Vault. Um, uh, super excited about that. Uh, but yeah, guys, subscribe, like, follow, tell your mama, tell your auntie, tell your sister, tell your brother. I don't care if you like me or not. Just trying to help. Just keeping it real. Hope you guys all have a blessed, wonderful, profitable day. Peace.